In this video, we'll be attempting to create this flyer. The resources you'll be needing is in the description of this video. Do want to check it out. Subscribe to my channel if you just joined me for the first time. Click on the post notification bell so you can get notified when I post new video here on YouTube. So the first thing is just hope the video is not gonna take long. Is bring in our element. So my background is here. So I'll come to relative size and just make sure it's in so the next one is let me hide the hey before we continue i just want to oh my graphic design course is available you can get the course if you really want to pop up your graphic design skill you want to stand out you want to increase your graphic design skill your smartphone graphic design skill then this course is for you we're making use of applications like ibi Paint, photoshop touch and pixelar Photoshop Express. So these are the course files. So this is an audio book. Money secret of millionaires mind. The audio and also the PDF files is there. So this is introduction to graphic design. These are principles of design. So these are the course files. If you so this course is for you. How to use I mean, as background. I was actually teaching them how to use background by mistake we created the design this design you will probably be seeing it on youtube now this one was actually was what we created in the class during that session so and also we have image enhancements you have to use your phone to enhance your image probably download the image that looks blur you want to enhance it so this is ibi expense x tutorials we have some betty flyers so you'll be seeing some of those on your screen like breakdown of how we came about the flyers and um, many more will also be added to the course you don't want to miss this training because the price will be increasing very very soon this is 5k nigerian era so these are bonuses of some of my previous courses i added it to this one too all right so let's go back to our training next Okay, the next one is this image. I'll come to this and I flipped it this way. Then I just came here and I increased the size. Okay, so I think this is okay. We'll leave it like that. Then you just lock it. Then we'll, this other one, this element, let's bring it to the front. You're seeing it, so come to relative size and also increase the so come and and just lock them. Now I've added a greeny fill to that this particular element. So this other one will move it to the front. Okay, now we're going to increase this. But not too much i think it's okay now i'm going to cover the hand like this you can even do it like this i think this is even better now i can have the way i am um, reason i'm covering the hand because if i put it like this it's not going to be having all this realistic feel like shadows all these shadows though like you can see the dark this and here is kind of dark so since the hand is on something that area is used with dark so can leave it like this then i'll come and i'll lock it so beneath this plate the image you know actually erased very well i'm just going to come here my razor to zoom in and erase this particular side with that done i'll come here come to draw increase the blow increase my paint size click on plus just go and tap from this area just tap on the screen once 
then you can increase it so i said i decided to put it here just to cover that those bees there but as of now it is of no it's not necessary but you can just still put it though so the next one is so still the same element let's copy it or put the position somewhere around here then we'll take it to the back of this model now do well to lock every of your elements let me increase it a bit do want to reduce the opacity so I'll copy this one okay good cool so do how to lock them so also we're gonna do something we'll copy duplicate it well, this time we're gonna position this one here all right beautiful let's send this to the front so i played with this lens please okay so i'll just come here come to color you can see it this color was just you see one of this color just can increase it like this then we'll just play with it you can see it's quite similar to to this one i use well however you can i'll come to plus come to this the color code ff7d02 and even out just erase whatever you have in the input this one day and voila you have the x code so okay all right okay now so the next thing is i have a text already i'll bring it in for my date i'll be using poppins okay okay poppins so make sure it is centered aligned so this is how I arrange my text. Then I reduce the size. You can put this one there. Then change the color to click on plus come to this eye dropper come to our background just till an area you can see it's not completely black so we can leave that there copy it now write the name of the celebrant happy birthday i got the image on pinterest So, but this time I'll be using this particular alignment, left alignment, and the name of the font we'll be using is Angel Wish. So, okay, then I think I like how it was it in metallic form. Yeah, I think it's looking cool. Okay. 
okay so the next thing is the wish i'm not having any wish so i'll just come here and steal the coat let's just imagine the coat happens to be my very wish so then i'm still i'm going to use my grid put it before this one here then i'll come here change the font to points medium or regular Okay, so I'll just reduce the size. Okay, cool. So we can increase the size. I think this is okay. Yeah, 16 is not that bad. Get rid of the italics. It's not key. So that's we're practically done with the design. Okay, this particular element. I straight it out like this. Let me bring this to the front. Is actually of no use anyway. So now the lens flare into to the front and make it visible. You probably want to increase the saturation a bit. Duplicate it. I use that lens free. I'm only just confetti. I'm only very careful with it. I don't want it to be too much. Okay, so we are done. So I try to reduce the ones that are here. Let's see. So we're done. And I'll just save this. Don't worry, just save. This is my image size 108135. When you put the Complus photo library onto photos, come to Pixel Lab and select my image. Some Oh, I think my those confettis are too much, so I'll come here and probably I'll, I'll create a new layer, empty layer. So there's something I want to try. Come to green map. This gamma, I'm crazy by twenty. I don't know the colors I want to attempt. So I don't know the colors that we are attempting. This is about I'll come to array. This is about 43. Seventy-six. Thirty. Eleven. Seventy six, thirty, eleven. Okay, so 
0.25 okay so this is what I need oh dear I shouldn't have applied it there anyway so I have to bring in my image again but just leave this one so I brought in our image just leave that one we apply gradient map on so come here come to the blend we'll change it to overlay all right so you can reduce the opacity it's going to you see the feel is already having to to our design now in case you don't like this feel you can still come here click on empty layer and we'll come here come to green map to so just leave this all right so come here change the blend mode to overlay then reduce the opacity and it will give you a particular feel Alright, so this is you can see the, the chocolate feel is giving you. So you can just do well to click on done. However, if you like this particular one, you can use it. Like I think I kind of like this. Okay, let me just combine the two of them. Okay, so when I do this, uh, yeah. so let me just combine the two of them and click on done and save. All right, but however, I feel all this my confetti are too much, so I'll click on click on click on save together. I click on the image and I click on export. So we'll see in Photoshop. Contrast, I'll pop it up. Come to shadows, I'll reduce it. Come to I will increase this, give this a bit of blue. And yeah, before and after, so this texture, add clarity. So, so we are done. So, so we are done. If I have a few dark, you can just come here, tamper with the exposure a bit. So before and after. So this is our design. We are done. So you can gladly click on export. All right, that for this video. See you in the next one. Alright, that's what is video. See you in the next one.